You talked to us a little bit about flanking noise and how that causes issues within construction, particularly in new build. Basically what flanking is, is the sound bypassing the structure that you've constructed. So if you built a separating wall, you came to test it and it was failing, it might not be the wall itself, it might be the sound bypassing the wall via the, the floor it's built off, the external wall it junctions with, or it might be going over the top via the ceilings, ceiling or roof structure, depending on the location of the wall. Yeah, the issues that we come across is if you actually flip that over and if, if we're looking at flats, the flanking issues down walls through the structure of the walls because yeah. you could have an amazing robust ceiling system and in a really high performance acoustic floor system but the flanking can come down the walls because of the lightweight elements we've been talking about. Yeah, traditional build is a good example. So in traditional build where you had timber floors and masonry cavity walls, the way everyone likes to build your typical house, you try to build that in a flat sense. And what happens is basically your timber floors are built off the continuous inner leaf of block work that runs up the building. You've got this continual wall bypassing your floor. So you might have this really good floor construction, but the, en the energy of the sound when you come to do the test is within the walls and run and bypassing the floor. And typically building regulations would require you to build an independent wall lining above and below, mineral insulated, high mass plasterboard and what have you on an independent stud. Yeah, there's examples here. So that would effectively reduce that flanking path. Uh, we see this is a really common issue and this is another reason to have an acoustic consultant on your project from the start because it can often be overlooked in the design element when you can think that you've really designed well to party having a floor and ceiling spec in but if you've not looked at the flanking elements it can often cause issues uh, pre-completion yeah completely what i mean one of the best examples is, is in conversions of existing buildings and it really highlights the issue where you may have an existing building with all the high mass brick walls all around um, and effectively they're converting into a number of flats but they've built an extension on the back of the building with out of lightweight block yeah. work which is continuous so you've got high mass brick walls and then you've got lightweight thin block walls that are running yeah. continuously and people put the same floor construction in same ceiling construction. Same ceiling construction, floor to ceiling, same constructions, and it passes in the old building and fails in the new building because they haven't considered the flanking sound paths. Absolutely.